So the other day, I was making paper airplanes. You know, simple, easy to make. I so I decided to try out something a bit more challenging. You know, origami for example. I mean, I thought it's just folding a piece of paper multiple times. How hard can it even be? It was a disaster. But before you laugh at me, what I mean to say is making something all by yourself is pretty hard. Take for an example, you are setting up an origami company. Uh, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. You are setting up a soap company. How would you go about doing that? Maybe you start by searching on the internet. How do you set up a soap company? Why do you set up a soap company? Who is Rohit Raj? And after you've been thoroughly disappointed looking me up, you go on to set up your soap company. Maybe you start by thinking of a name, thinking of patenting your formula. But how do you even patent your formula? And don't you need a formula for that? And how do you even make soap? How are you supposed to do all of this by yourself? Maybe you were never smart enough to do this. Or did I just set you up for an impossible task? Well, look around. Nothing, and I mean nothing around you, was made by a single person. It took multiple people designing, manufacturing, transporting, marketing a product to get it to you. So, how come do you expect yourself to set up a soap company all by yourself? The things you see are not made by a single person. And even more so, the things you don't see. I mean this website you're seeing me on right now. It wasn't coded and marketed and administered by one person. It was a group of people collaborating with one another that got my video to you. Well, social collaboration is exactly this. It's the process where multiple groups of people interact and share information with one another to achieve a common goal. And social collaboration is how the world runs today and has been running for centuries. I mean, think about it. Think about the early man, for example. The early man never lived alone. Even though we call him an early man, they were actually closely knit groups. Were they extremely extroverted that they wanted to live in these groups? No. Well, I don't know to be fair. But what I do know is that they needed those closely knit groups to survive. And social collaboration has been what's brought us to this level of advancement. Well, social collaboration between hunter-gatherers and then the social collaboration between agriculturalists and the social collaboration between the pluralistic groups that inhabit the world today. Every good idea you see around you nearly always never comes off an individual. It comes of a group of people locked into a room together brainstorming. Uh, well, that is locked in metaphorically. Please don't lock people into rooms. Well, that group of people may consist of experts. And you would say to me, well, Rohit, social collaboration sounds great and all, but isn't it just the plaything of millionaires and large corporations? I mean, I know I can't get a group of people to come sit into my room. Well, that's where you are wrong. That was true maybe 30 years ago. But today, you have that group of experts right in your pocket. The internet is now the home of social collaboration. Just think of the pandemic during which uh, when we couldn't attend actual physical meetings or examinations, we shifted our classrooms, meetings, cabinets and examination halls to a digital realm. Social collaboration makes it possible for you to interact with anyone around the world. And the internet helps in that. You can contact an expert as soon as you want and get their opinion on anything. In fact, just a simple word search on Google would tell me what Neil deGrasse Tyson thinks about broccolis. I mean, I don't want to know that, but I could. That's exactly my point. Today, social collaboration is easier than ever. Just take a stroll through Reddit or Quora and you'll be shocked by the amount of free time people have. I mean, is Gautam Gambhir the son of Anil Kapoor? 
why would you search that but also that millions of experts find their home on such sites willing to help you once you ask just think about how easy would it would have been for me to make origami if i just searched it up on the internet and how easy for you would have been to set up your soap company if you had a group of experts on marketing designing on formulas chemistry sitting in your room right now well you can get that and today it's as simple as typing four simple words into a keyboard thank you